But I'm not here tonight as an advocate, and I'm not here as a skeptic. And my book was not written in either one of those spirits. It was written in the spirit of whether or not the animal walks in flesh or blood, it is a major part of Northwest culture, history, and lore, and that there's too great a body of evidence, though not definitive perhaps, to treat it contemptuously. And there's too great a body of Native American lore in complete agreement across all tribal groups that this animal walks, not like sea to the sea serpent, not like Thunderbird in the spiritual realm, but walks like skunk and raccoon and frog and raven too much to treat it as a joke. Too much to let it be merely the province of the tabloids. And my book contains a chapter called Bigfoot Baby Found in Watermelon Has Elvis's Sneer. <laughs> and the tabloids have had their fun with this animal. And it's been sad because they've actually perverted a su superb and substantial part of North American lore into a joke. It's too big a subject to leave it merely to Bigfoot hunters, many of whom, as I said in my book, don't want to find Bigfoot, they want to be Bigfoot. <laughs> Interesting group of people whom I admire and am a member of their community at their grace. And there's a great range of Bigfoot enthusiasts. But one thing I will say is that this animal is too serious a thing and too important to our <laughs> culture to treat as a joke.